Hi guys, welcome down to the Monday Night Golf Show with myself, Rick Shields, and Peter Finch. Our roundup of all of the golfing action over the weekend, and there's been an awful lot of it. Yeah, all of a sudden, the uh, the golf season has burst <coughs> into life, bloomed like a rose after a rather dark, long, and cold winter. Yep, that's all the intro I've got today. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to cover all the topics over the uh, the weekend events, uh, from the PGA Tour all the way over to the European Tour and Asian uh kind of event as well uh, and then we're also going to talk about what's coming up into the future of events so what's coming up next week and also then we're going to answer your questions and the swing analysis today will be Mr Peter Finch's which we've got coming up if winner. not today it will be winner certainly tomorrow winner of the week winner of life winner I think who, so. Who, me? I think so. <laughs> We're talking about the same person. <laughs> right, so where should we start? Should we start... PJ Tour. PJ Tour. So, rather disappointingly... Sorry, Fabian. Um, Fabian Gomez, second win on tour. Inspirational story from a young, poor Argentinian boy. Yes. Coming all the way up through the ranks to the PJ Tour and securing his second win in magnificent fashion. Although the problem is... He beat Brant Seneca, yes. who we had our bet on for the B4 show. And Kisner. So. And Kisner as so well. So at the end of the event, at the round three, Fabian Gomez was nowhere to be seen on the leaderboard. Uh, we had in the B4 show, uh, Brant Seneca and Kevin Kisner as bets. And they were right up against the top of the leaderboard. Uh, yeah. But with Fabian Gomez shooting an eight under final round, <laughs> with some of the best golf literally ever seen on the PGA Tour, with seven consecutive birdies through the turn which was outrageously amazing oh, it's just unbelievable how he managed to actually get in the zone that much I mean he followed that up with two bogeys but then rather oddly follow it enough. up in the last two holes with two more birdies it's, it's just like I mean to, that's great to have that many birdies and all of a sudden go oh god a couple of bogeys then to bounce back and the birdie on the last was an off the green putt to actually get the clubhouse lead and only Snedeker birding the last got himself into that playoff in yeah so it turned into a two hole playoff playing the 18th hole a couple more times uh, the first round the uh, first time they played it they both parred it narrowly missing out on um, birdie puts both of the players Brandt again had an opportunity to win the event and then the second playoff hole uh, Fabian hit the green in two so had an eagle put and rolled it to about an inch before the hole and Brad Snedeker had a little tricky downhill right, left to right yeah. for about eight footer for Birdie to force an extra hole but it just slipped yeah, by. Yeah, I, I kind of fancied him for that actually but yeah, it just slipped by. It's a bit of a nervous he put, I must admit. I mean, well, you never really know with him though, do you? No. He's that <laughs> kind of quick. He, he could be nervous or he could be full of confidence. You just don't actually know. So it was a fantastic event and it's great to see that already out in Hawaii they're, they're posting some amazing golf scores um, and looking forward to I think it's going to be a mega exciting season um, whether we see Fabian win again in the winner, get in the winner's circle we will have to wait and see uh, but second time winner on tour for the 37 year old I think we worked it out yeah he's, he's not he's not a young you know, he's not a young up and coming pro but he's come through kind of the, the web.com tour gone on tour gone off tour gone back on tour yeah. and then win last year win this year so he, he seems to be slightly a streaky player so I think after he won last year well, you can see that from 7.30s to a yeah, of bogeys yeah I think slightly streaky because last year I think he won and he had a good good couple of finishes around that event then like dropped pretty much off the map after that and then he's back yeah, and he's, he's 112th in the world at the moment so yeah. let's see if that gets ranked up if you want to see what golf clubs are used as well check out my channel so I'm doing a what's in the bag of Fabian Gomez too yeah I think that lifted him to Top fifty, I think. The what's in the bag, or the top, the top, the yeah. <laughs> Rick's what's in the bag has actually lifted Fabian Gomez into the top fifty. You don't the actually power know of this. YouTube. Our videos, you have got the world ranking points, <laughs> and then you have got YT points on the end, and they're like added. It's amazing, actually. It's, it's quite incredible. That's why Jordan Smith is actually world number one because we say his name that many bloody times. It just keeps adding to the score. Yeah, nothing about him winning literally every event going. I mean, if, just, uh, if we like kept talking. Well, that's a better picture. <laughs> if we get talking about someone like... Oh, who, should, who should we just talk about from now on? Some random... Fitzpatrick? Fitz, yeah, let's just talk about Matt Fitzpatrick. There you go. Two world ranking points. Already added, in already. the bag. You can thank us later. I've just had a missed call from someone in Sheffield. It could be your parents thanking me already. Um, so, should we jump over to the event that Matt played in this weekend? Yes, absolutely. So, the Eurasia Cup uh, in Malaysia. Now, this event was first played two years ago. Uh, it's Europe versus Asia. And two years ago, it was a 10 all draw. Which Different would, story this year. Yeah, thing. you would have thought, oh, you know, close, close game. You know, it's fine. It's going to be a real competitive event. Europe 
absolutely annihilated Asia in the end. I think it was 18.5 and a half in yes. the end. Yes, yes it was. And, and, and it, it never even looked close. That and was what's, the thing. what's exciting, this is, this is the most likely European team that we're going to have at the Ryder Cup. Uh, Darren Clark captaining, which was great to see. He really rallied the troops and it was good to see that kind of camaraderie and that I think they respect Darren a lot as well and also with him kind of having that relationship with players like your Westwoods and also now your new players like your mm -hmm. Fitzpatrick, your, your Danny Willett. It seemed like a really good atmosphere at the event. Yeah, absolutely. And you had a lot of players who, Key Polters and your uh, Westwoods, who kind of recently, you wouldn't say they've been setting the world alight, but they seem to be back to a wee mm -hmm. bit of form as yeah. well, which is which is great. It's I mean, nice to see Poulter actually practising rather than just selling Ferraris. Yes, this is very true. Or buying them, in fact. <laughs> well, selling and true. buying. I don't think he gets them for free. He, he I think do. he could be a phenomenal used car salesman, though. Oh yeah, definitely. You could imagine yeah. buying a car off Punta, yeah. and you'd go, you'd go there because we're actually heading over to Orlando next week, and we play in the golf course that he actually is kind of affiliated to, like Nona. Um, if we have any, we? Uh, well, yeah, have I not told you? This? Well, hopefully, fingers crossed, we are. Sorry, no, no, I just you, keep breaking your surprises. You, you promise, you, know? <laughs> you promise now. <laughs> um, and I've, I could imagine if we just get a little bit of time in Punta's garage, we'll both be driving home in Ferraris. We would have sold our houses. We would have, we would have been. Kicked out of home, we, but we'll have Ferraris. If we'd have sold both our houses, we still wouldn't be able to get one Ferrari. <laughs> Maybe if we got rid of a limb or something on the black market. <laughs> but he, uh, not only is he a great golfer, but also he's got a future in car sales as well. Um, it's a bit of a very random road, that, I think hasn't so. it? A very so. random road. So yeah, absolutely smashed it. So well done, Europe. Uh, commiserations, Asia. You need to up your game in a couple of years. I think they will do. I don't think there's any fear about that. I think in a yeah. couple of years when we're talking about Asia winning 23 nil, <laughs> <laughs> we might be having a different story. Uh, also, we go over to the Joburg Open as well, where there was places up for grabs for Royal Troon. Mm. And again, we need to know these things because I reckon we could have got an invite to that. I am less convinced about having the invite uh, than Rick, <laughs> but it was uh, a new kind of winner on tour, Hayden Porter. He's only 21 year old, but. Um, yeah, played very, very well and kind of came through the field in his kind of, well, home event. I'm not sure if he's from around Johannesburg, but played very, very well. I um, managed to qualify for the Open. It's a massive field, actually. It was like he played over two courses. I think there was like 200 and odd players playing. It's yeah, he shot, field. he shot 18 under for the four rounds, won it by two over uh, Zander Lombard, who also qualifies for the Open at Royal Troon. Uh, and then in one of the players in tied third, I'm not sure how this actually worked out, but Anthony Wall qualified. I can only suspect he either done it on a count back <laughs> or, or the other two <laughs> Pack <players>. nine count back. <laughs> All the other two players have already qualified, but I can't imagine uh, there would have been some stipulation. But yeah, Anthony Wall, um, Hayden and Xander Lombard have all qualified for the Open at Royal True. We'll, we'll see, see you there. there. <laughs> we'll see you there. Leaning over the fence. Yes. Uh, let's move on to what's coming up next. So the next event is over in Abu Dhabi, and it's the Abu Dhabi mm. HSBC Golf Championship with some quite incredible players playing in it as well. Yeah, my parents are actually going over. They're playing? Uh, no, I don't think so. Is this on their journey... Oh, when did they... Oh, no, they came back before Christmas. This is for my uh, my mum's 60th. Oh, wow. They've not, they've not been to Abu Dhabi before. So that's Ferrari World. That's why my dad wants to go. Is that right? Yeah, but... You'll uh, see Poulter at the yeah, games. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcoming people in with leaflets. <laughs> so they're going over there. But it's a, it's a fantastic field. You've got the you've got McElroy, you've got Spieth, you've got Fowler. It's a very, very strong field. First time we've seen Spieth and McElroy playing together for a, 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 a while as definitely well. Definitely this months. year. Definitely this year. 2016, this is the first time they met. Now, Rory, they might have, they might have sent a few texts over to each other on Skype because they can't do that. Thing. I don't think they text that often. <laughs> I don't think anyone texts anymore. They might have WhatsApp to each other or something. Um, so, McRoy kind of bases his, a lot of his European practice out in Abu Dhabi, so it's, it's almost his kind of home event. He plays mm. there a lot. He's got a few um, sponsors on it, hasn't he? <clears throat> He had a quite a few sponsors from that like, hotel change in that region. I'm not sure if he still does. But. Yeah, I, I think Nike have kind of bought that out by now. Ni oh, is he sponsored by Nike, is he? Yeah. I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, they kind of pay him 50 grand a day. I did not know that. Yeah. Who's Speed sponsored by? Um, is it Under Under Armour? Under, under Armour. Underpants. And now Coca-Cola. Wow. Have you seen that? No. So now Jordan Spieth has had a new endorsement. He's signed a contract. So I don't know what the fee is. He is signed now by Coca-Cola. I mean, those two... Th I mean, Under Armour and Coke combined, I mean, that's going to be a lot of endorsement. <laughs> well, he, he now... He ranks the highest played, paid player on and off the golf course. He made 53 million last year. 
Kids, let's have a chat. Go and practice your putting. Because if you can do that, then you're going to get lots of sponsorship money. And be nice to people. Be nice to people, yeah. Be, be nice to people nice. and be a very good putter. Yeah. And you're going to make 53 you, million a year. You're going to go far. You go put it a long, long way. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Wow, I didn't know that. Now, I'm really... I'm not in a good position there because I'm not particularly nice to people and I'm a terrible putter. But moving on. <laughs> you, go for, you go for the Pepsi sponsorship. <laughs> I don't know how Under Armour is still, uh, still involved in me. <laughs> when I'm at Dunlop and Pepsi. It's, it's just like they've got the balance. Is that they've right? They've got Spieth at one end of the seesaw and they've got you at the other. Just balancing things out. Yeah. I think so. I think so. And uh, if any, any sponsors are looking for, uh, for two phenomenal ambassadors, uh, McDonald's, Pepsi... Uh, Burger King, whoever wants to sponsor us, <laughs> we are open to. I'm sure as you as a veggie, though, probably wouldn't yeah, respond to I, like Burger King. I, I need something a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't really think of a vegetarian food chain. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll move away from the food and the drinks. Evian, if you want to sponsor me, water. That's pretty new. Just, just, just water. I oh, just wow. want to be sponsored by water. Exciting times. 100%. So, talking about sponsorship, <laughs> we'll move on to the PGA Tours next event. Do you want to take the honours? Okay, so uh, I don't know how this is actually going to look on the trophy, uh, but it's the... It's going to have to be a big trophy. <laughs> massive. The Career Builder, two words, for some reason, uh, one word, Career Builder Challenge in partnership with the Clinton Foundation. At I mean PGA that, West TPC Stadium course, La Quinta, California. I don't, that's going to roll off the tongue. I wonder what not the announcers are going to do. Do you know when they do the <laughs> intro? <laughs> yes. Hey, it's Jeff Banks here at the TPC TPC course at the Quinta for the Career Builder Challenge in partnership with the Clinton Foundation and on a leaderboard. Sponsored by. It's sponsored by. It'll be sponsored by someone else as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll be it not sponsored, but sponsored by... Formerly sponsored by Coca-Cola until they lost all their money on Jordan Spieth. <laughs> so it's, uh, that's the next event on the PGA Tour. Now with Gatorade! <laughs> <laughs> They're more than likely the same yeah. company, I imagine. Yeah, I think they are. It's something... Who's not the same? Who's not Coke? I don't know. I don't who's know. not Coke? Who's we not... can name as few of the companies. Like Apple, maybe? Or Microsoft? Or... Yeah, not, the leaderboard you, you sponsored can't by... You can't drink Apple Max, though. Oh, you mean a, another, drinks yeah, another drinks company? Yeah, another drinks company. I'm out. You're out. Pepsi. Pepsi, yeah. We've already banned it. So Pepsi's like the bad, <laughs> the bad cousin here. Pepsi. <laughs> bad what about cousin. Fanta? Is that still Coke? No, I'm gonna go. For no, it. Fanta's still Coke. No, it's not anymore. Career Builder Challenge in partnership with the Clinton Foundation, sponsored by Fanta, refreshing sugary drink which will rot your teeth. <laughs> Hey. So, yes, with that event coming up, I, you stay tuned. Banter MD just like <laughs> slowly putting his phone down now. It's like, God, I was looking, I was looking for some golf sponsorship. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to now move on to your questions that we post on social media. Uh, as always, uh, you answer, you ask some amazing questions, so stay tuned for that. Then, either today or maybe tomorrow, it'll be Pete's Swing Analysis. Uh, the What's in the Bag will be coming onto my channel today with Fabian Gomez. And then also, we're going to do the B4 show, which will be aired on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, and that will be mainly circulating around the Abu Dhabi World Championship. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, do subscribe to this wonderful Quest Golf YouTube channel. We want to congratulate ourselves as well for reaching 10,000 new subscribers. <laughs> Well, well done, done guys well done well done thank you thank you thank you very much for subscribing if you haven't already do click the subscribe button don't forget it is separate to our own individual channels this is kind of our combined channel uh, where we film the Monday Night Golf Show for uh, so do click the subscribe button as well anything yeah. to add um, I no I can't um, next week's Monday Night Golf Show is going to be coming from Sunnier Climbs as well remember so we are in Orlando sponsored by <laughs> Sunkiss oh what's that what's that American iced tea drink called oh I don't know I drank an Arnold Palmer iced tea when I was out in Australia oh, recently Australia, Australia. <laughs> wow I didn't pass that one by me okay sponsored by Arnold Palmer iced tea Next week's Monday Night Golf Show brought to you from the World Convention Center in Orlando, sponsored by Arnold Palmer IT. Big drinks for little bellies. I don't know, why not? We'll go with that. It was massive, it was like that big. It was like a pint pot of iced tea. So we'll see you next week? Yeah, in, in Orlando, sponsored by Ice Tea. Oh my god, we should go to that pizza place again. What was the pizza place called? Right, dollar pizza place. What yeah, was it called? What was it called? I want to say like Ziggy's, but it wasn't Ziggy's. No, it was, it was something. CC's. CC's. Sponsored by CC's Pizza. 
where the obese go to play.